what's going on my divine feminines of the lgbtq plus community okay what is going on now i don't know why but spirit gave me this idea i don't know if it's been done before or whatever that's not why i'm doing it but i actually had an epiphany um you know when i just mistakenly assumed that um you know, someone that was like on my live getting a free reading was about to talk about a man and not another woman. And then I thought a lot about it and a lot of the readers, not to say that they mean anything horrible by it, but I find that a lot of the readers, they, um, you know, let's be, oh, just mismatch it. Just, you know, and I just feel like, no, like, you know, there could be two divine feminines in a relationship. Even though I do think regardless of, um, you know, sexuality, sexual preference. Um, there is a balance of masculine and feminine energy, just like there's a balance within ourselves of masculine and feminine energy, and it balances out in relationships. But I've seen women be the more divine masculine type to a man who is more the divine feminine type, to be honest. So I don't, you know, anyways. This is what gave me, and I just had an epiphany, and I just wanted to see, we'll see if anybody likes it, cares for it, or, I don't know. I, I just had this epiphany that I should do something for y'all, like, you know, like, you're not a man, you know what I mean? Neither one of you are a man, you're both women, you're both divine, you're both have your femininity in, in some way, and, you know, I just, I don't know, I wanted to do this for y'all, so, <laughs> um, with that being said... Um, welcome to my channel. This is Black Fairy Guidance. I'm Dana Patrice, the Black Fairy. Um, I'm not taking personals at this time. However, there will be extended readings that will be available in the description box below. So if this resonates with you and you want to continue on, follow that link and it will take you to where you need to go where I will continue this. Um, this reading will not, you know, resonate with everybody and that's cool. Um, so, you, you know, no negative comments, please, if it's not for you just keep it moving and um it doesn't expire so when you see this reading you are meant to see this reading okay and um it'll be for you or it won't be i don't know whatever made you click on this <laughs> maybe it was just the name <laughs> whatever the case may be we're gonna get into it and see if your divine feminines are thinking about their divine feminines all right <laughs> Now I already was shuffling and I set the energy. So Divine Feminine, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message do you have for your Divine Feminine? What message do you have for her? She's listening. Ooh, I feel like she's getting kind of... You know, she almost, she see how many cards almost flew out and then they just slug back in like she's like, oh no, you know what, I'm not going to do with this yet. I'm not going to do with this yet. <laughs> Divine Feminine, what you got to say? What you got to say? She says something about her intuition. Something about her intuition, right? Intuition is the ability to listen to her higher self. So she's definitely been going within. She's definitely thinking like, I feel like she's in a place of like reflection. But we'll see. This is just the first card, right? Confidence. Okay. She's feeling herself maybe. Confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep you going to the selfish and the self-assurance to get you there. I feel like either they're the, the work that they're doing <clears throat> where they're increasing their intuition has been through some self-work that they've been doing. They've been working through it for themselves, trying to find that confidence back. Some of them, 
may have always had it. They're just confident and high-spirited at the moment. We'll see. Opportunity. So what is your message to them? Like they, So I feel like they've been really thinking about you, right? <laughs> Cause I'm trying to think like what is she what is she trying to say to you like why is she so confusing like come on divine feminines okay so you've been thinking with your intuition you've been talking to your she's been talking to her higher self you guys okay she's been talking to her higher self this is your divine feminines and she's confident about something like I don't know I feel like she kind of like I've been thinking about you I know you're thinking about me too I'm confident of this, <laughs> you know, and she's just like, let's take the opportunity here. Like it says, when your eyes are wide open, opportunities you never thought possible will manifest. And I feel like she feels like there's a real possibility of connection here, reconnection here. You know, she's been enlightened. She knows that you've been calling out to her. Um, telepathically she feels you and she's confident in that right she's enlightened she's had a lot of clarity though right and she's thinking about the future and there's a nurturing spirit here and there's faith so I feel like it's all love I feel like she's been secluding herself with the sanctuary here it's all love from their end. And they want you to know, like, I feel like they're already just coming out, like, giving you the green light. And you know what's so funny? Because I always see these memes about lesbians, right? And how they go on a date and then, like, they get married, like, the next day. Like, they just move in next week and they're together and that's it. Like, they don't really, you know, that <laughs> you guys fall in love and just... That's what I, I've seen memes. I don't know. You can comment below and let me know. You know what I'm saying? I am a heterosexual cis woman. Is that the correct way to say it? Anyways, and so I'm not sure, right? I'm just doing, I'm just following the spirit. And they said that they, they have messages for y'all too. Um, spirit of the universe. What does divine feminine have to say to their divine feminines? Like, let's break it down. Cause she's just being cocky. I need, we need to know like, what's up? Like, stop it. Stop it, divine feminines worth waiting for they think you're worth waiting for they think they're worth waiting for they're like why are you doing this you know you watching this and you want to be with me <laughs> these divine femmes are cocky <laughs> she retreated you retreated you've been you've been having space you know what i mean it, it, it was time for you both to disconnect from the world which left her again in this place of really tapping into her intuition you know and she she definitely I definitely feel like she knows that she loves you. You know, maybe some of your divine feminines have children from previous relationships, right? Um, this could be the case and, and that maybe got in the way um in regards to some confusion with some of your divine feminines. Maybe they're bisexual, maybe um they were maybe you were their first experience with a woman and they had already had children. Some of your divine feminines, though, they, they still love you. They still want you. Uh, they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They want to talk. But not, I've been saying that this whole time. <laughs> they want to talk to you, divine feminines. You're their divine feminine. They feel you. They love you. They love you. What else you got to say, divine fem, to your divine feminine? What are you saying to her? Like, for real. Because, you know, Okay. This is true love for her. This is true love for her. She's never known a love like you before. She didn't know she could feel this way. You know, this is the romance of a lifetime for her. So if this is someone, even like maybe you were their first experience with a woman and that scared them. They didn't know. Like they've never been with a woman before. It was their first time. And... You know, maybe even they knew that for a long time that they had felt had those feelings. And, you know, they led that life, the other life because of what people would say. So, they, you know, they got married, had the children, or just went that route of just sticking with straight because it was what she was supposed to do, the feelings, and you were the first time. You know, and I feel like maybe that's what she was pondering on. There's pay attention to the red flags. I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like when I see this card, and this is weird, Divine Feminine, what are you talking about? Pay attention to the red flags. Like, we're going to have to get into this. The signs are cautioning you. Like, what are you cautioning them about? 
What do you what What do you mean? You the signs are cautioning you, divine feminine. <laughs> what does that even mean? The signs are cautioning you. You gotta figure this out, cause usually I do the clarity cards, and it's been quite simple. But these divine feminines are difficult as fuck. Like what? Passionate, unrequited love. I feel like they feel a lot of red flags from you. Like, you guys started off so passionate, and then you cut them off. Did you ghost them? Did you feel like, or you you mistook something, and they're just like, that was a red flag to me? We're going to have to keep these together. What else, Divine Feminine? What else? What else? She's very emotional. This energy is very emotional. But she's, there's attraction. Like, she just can't get over it. Like, I feel like she's kind of, like, so back and forth in her head and mind. Like, she knows that she wants you. She's confused. She's, I don't know. She, she's, her energy is just confusion. She wants you to keep an open mind. She wants you to keep an open mind. Yeah, maybe she, maybe she went back to the father and it was unrequited it, like she didn't pay attention to the red flags before and she wished she had this is just me channeling it guys and and it was unrequited like she's just like I couldn't go back to that I couldn't go back to the D <laughs> like, I couldn't go back to the D <laughs> you know it wasn't you I don't know I just came through so maybe that's some clarity for y'all so she just wants you to keep an open mind when she heads back on over to you divine feminine oh my gosh this this um I just feel like this this is gonna be one of my craziest readings <laughs> because the energy she is she is confusion she wants to marry you she wants to marry you divine feminine she does she really does what else what else you got for the Divine Feminine? Okay, you talk too much. What is with all these cards? And I'm going to take it. <laughs> but come on. So she's talking about, listen, like, like you saw how they all just flipped over. She's like, here, this is what I have to say. Like, why are you Divine Feminine so aggressive? <laughs> Let go of control issues. So I feel like she's ready to let go of control issues, but only if you are. Because as you can see, this energy is kind of tight. But it's almost like she's like, I will put down my guard if you come come to me, come back to me. If you come back and love me. You know, um, finances and career. She's been really working on her career and things like that right now. She's been looking forward. She's been maybe started that business she said she'd started. She's been working on herself, right? She's been working in her higher self. Like I said, she's just very confident. She's like, you know that you love me. So come on. Get on with the get on and come back home. <laughs> you know, she freed herself from the situation. Okay. She freed herself from the situation. Okay, she's done with it. She's done with it. And she just wants you to trust her so that you guys can go back to that loving honeymoon stage. So there's love here, Divine Feminines. Um, I don't know. This seemed like a whirlwind love affair. Tell me if this resonates to anybody because am I tripping? <laughs> Does this resonate with anybody at all? You'll have to tell me in the comments below. Of course, I am going to continue and get some clarity cards on these cards here so we can go really deeper into what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> right? That's what I'm going to use the tarot card here. That's why I have my rose quartz charging it up for us with its beautiful, beautiful energy. Right? With that being said, whether you... Follow the link or not. I love you. I believe in you. You've got this. You got a lot of thinking to do. <laughs> you got a lot of thinking to do. But with that being said, you know you got this. You got this. <laughs> All right, you guys. Love y'all.